Angry William destroys Megan's lapdog, Omid, after he attacks sick Kate, calling her cancer video fake. Meg choked in rage as William teams up with Cali police, MI5, to jail Omid and Boozy for dirty criminal acts. Hello, truth seekers, and welcome back to our channel, where we reveal the shocking truth behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ladies and gentlemen, reserve your seats because the royal family's latest trauma has turned ugly. Okay, I'm going crazy with this little weasel Omid Scobie and his obnoxious antics. This time, the fool went too far by viciously attacking brave Kate in the midst of her devastating cancer battle. But before we dive into the tumultuous waters of this reveal, if you haven't done me a favor yet by hitting that subscribe button and turning on notifications, go ahead and do that. You won't want to miss out the explosive content we have in store. So, have you seen this new stunt? The shameless pet peeve for Meghan Markle tries to lead to Kate's shocking diagnosis, revealing posting sly little countdown images on social media like some bullshit gossip. The vulture is just waiting to pounce on the royal family's private medical news. Scobie wants us all to believe that this was just an innocent little warning to these so-called fans that an announcement was about to take place in the palace. A possible story. We all know these bottom faders will stir up a lot of drama and salacious innuendos for the sake of clickbait before the truth ever comes out, except in Kate's case, of course. The bitter truth is ultimately a lot more interesting than the idle rumors of his hack. A beloved mother received a cancer diagnosis and was about to undergo chemotherapy treatments in one moment. It should have inspired serious reflection and human empathy, not publicity stunts. But of course, civility and human dignity are foreign concepts to the crushers like Scobie. His first instinct is to put himself through Kate's personal hell by creating fake hype and fake anticipation ahead of her heartbreaking announcement. All for the sake of one some cheap retweet and follows from Megan Scrony's decoy students, no doubt. This is the same toxic sycophant who smeared Kate as a progressive wife in the anti-hacking royal work playbook. Remember the pathetic self-promoter, so desperate to impress his Montecito master and their gaze that even cancer was not sacred ground for Scobie to stay away from. Well, I just got a wake-up call for this man who fancies himself as some sort of journalistic crusader. If there is a man on planet Earth who had every right to feel deceived, disrespected, and deeply anchored by Scobie's appalling campaign to create a conspiracy around Kate's diagnosis, it's your husband, Prince William, because when you put yourself in a difficult position for a moment, imagine Imagine being forced to solemnly testify as an immediate family member. The wife of yours and the future queen will face devastating health conditions that require harsh chemotherapy to treat. Then watch some two-bit hacking with an axe to try to make a terrible clickbait out of your loved one's private pain. I can only imagine the red rage radiating from every poor person in the moment. The man deserved fighting pay for showing such forced restraint. If I were him, I would dispatch an entire battalion of Royal Guards officers to hunt down Scobie and drag out of his writhing corpse to bring public shame for life. A global TV show humiliating him for destroying the dignity of a cancer patient seems outrageous given such despicable behavior. And let's be clear here, Scobie's cowardly excuses about scandalous speculation are absolutely laughable. Everyone witnessed him frantically delete his original speculative posts. Once the tragic news about Kate was revealed, there was no doubt fear of public reprisal. Even he cannot escape the situation. But the intention behind Scobie's lighthearted pre-announcement Rob was a loud and clear attempt to hijack the stories surrounding one woman's struggle with cancer for the sake of theater. His, Meghan Markle Media Circus, exploiting her fragile health for fame and retweets to appease his bitter benefactors, no matter how dire the means in the side's world. Cancer is merely another joke in Scobie's world, another joke used against the hateful royal family through what is a created monopoly, human life, damned if social self-esteem and larger bank accounts require collateral damage in pursuit of sordid truths. 